Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks and we're right here at IFA 2013 with Asus. We're not actually on the fairgrounds, but right in the city center. And what they're showing off here is between tablets and ultrabooks and two-in-one devices, also the new Asus X02BA, which is basically a netbook, but they're not using Intel chipsets in there. They're using the AMD solution and it does have a touchscreen. What Asus is going to do with this is basically offer the cheapest touch notebook available. Acer has another device that is aiming for the same category and they're also using AMD so the AMD solutions are actually allowing the manufacturers to go even lower down in the pricing so this will be available for around $250 maybe even lower although it has a touchscreen an HD touchscreen and should be available pretty soon it's been um, announced for Europe so far. I don't know about the US, but it's probably coming to the US market too. Um, so what do we have here? This is a 10.1 inch screen, as I said, netbook size, but it's not running the 1024 by 600 standard resolution that we know from netbooks, but it has a resolution of 1366 by 768 pixel. It is a TN panel, so Asus is saving a couple of bucks in this way, so the viewing angles are not that great, but they're totally okay. The brightness is all right could be better but again we're talking about super low-end low-cost devices so Asus is trying to save some bucks here um, the panel is all right it does have a touchscreen which has five millimeter actuators so these are smaller than required by Microsoft and they allow you to actually navigate on the tiny touchscreen without any problems to hit any smaller items on the screen um, let's take a quick look around we have a 720p webcam up here. The touchscreen is covered not in glass, but I think it, that's a plastic film right there. Uh, the casing is totally made out of plastics, and we have a decent sized um, keyboard on here, typically netbook style. The trackpad is basically pretty much fine. It feels good, but it could be a bit bigger, but that's again 10 inch form factor, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, the shift keys are a bit small on this device because ASUS have to, has to stuff a lot of keys in there, especially with the European version, or this is actually the, the US version. Um, even though on the US version, the shift keys are pretty small. Otherwise, the keyboard feels pretty good. There's no flex at all. It doesn't, it doesn't bend or anything. The trackpad feels nice. We have this patterned palm wrist here. It doesn't get it doesn't get warm at all, so the AMD chip that's in there is doing a good job. The, the chip is actually an AMD A4-1200, which is a dual-core 1.0 gigahertz chip that has an AMD Radeon 8180 integrated graphics part. Um, yeah, let's get going around the device. We have the Kensington lock back here an Ethernet port, that's a full-size Ethernet port, which is not that common nowadays, even on Tiny and uh, Ultrabooks. Most manufacturers are actually using USB connections. We have two USB 2.0 ports and a headphone jack. On the front, there's um, just the LEDs. And on the left, we have a full-size SD card reader. Those are the vents for the fan. And a full-size USB 3 port. That's the power plug right there, and we have a full-size HDMI port, and not another thing that's not that common on even on Ultrabooks. And we have a VGA port, actually, which has actually been going out of style with the manufacturers. Um, the battery is a 33-watt-hour battery, lithium polymer, kind of, and they've actually integrated it, it directly into the device, so you can change it, but the runtime is supposed to be around five hours uh, showing 720p video. Um, it's only 1.1 kilograms in weight and it should be out just after IFA running Windows 8 that includes a full Windows 8 license, should be Windows 8 core and will be available pretty soon. So that's the new Asus X02BA netbook that has 2 gigs of RAM in the base model and a 320 gig hard drive 
and the higher spec model has 4 gigs of RAM and a 500 gig hard drive. Well, that's it. I was Ron Unua Geeks. See you later.